I'm like, okay, well that means the Lord, it's time now. Yep. But, but, but check it out. But then they're going to be cheering. <laughs> they can't teach now. We don't have to teach when we don't have to teach. There is a cutoff point that the Lord set in the heavens before the foundation of the, of the earth when it was created. There is a cutoff point where he's going to stop talking to us. And he's going to get busy. And he's going to give us spiritual power to take over in ways that you can, we can't even imagine, man. Okay, there's a reason why Psalms 2 says what it says. Okay, for them to have a vain thing to cut the cords and come in, come on, man, for them to do that, for them to, to, to come through the worst time in history, Jacob's trouble, some things gotta happen for them to move that way. Okay, that's a mixture of multiple things in one bowl, spiritual power, miracles, this, that. Okay, they know what time it is, man. They moving and we moving. They ain't stopping, we ain't gonna stop. We gonna see who gonna win at the end. It ain't gonna be them. Go ahead, right. little letters. Oh uh, yeah. I was gonna say, you see, we, got, we, got the, we got the four, and four angels around the corners of the earth, man. And what it say, to the, to the seals and the power be the seals in their foreheads. You know, for, so the wind don't touch the earth. And so once those seals are sealed, then the Lord gonna let that wind touch the earth. And, and, the, and that's when we done talking. That's when we done talking. So don't be like, ah. We can't go in the highways and byways no more. No, you should clap. That is a sign. That's called prophecy. Don't skip the prophecy now. We ain't supposed to be talking, but you want to talk forever? I don't. Come on now. I'm rule. Absolutely. I'm on the ground. All right? Yeah. Psalms 37 and 13, it says, The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy. And to slay such as be of upright conversation. Upright conversation. They speak the truth. Those guys, the anointed, you need to cut them cords. They still speaking truth. And not all Jake that woke up, they need to wake up. And those who know they Jake and bullshit, they, they don't matter. Okay? The truth, the gospel, going through the four corners of the earth, and then shall the income. Esau know that scripture. You think Esau don't know that scripture? The least know that. Okay, you don't think he get nervous when we break down him going into these bunkers? We actually break it down in the scriptures? Yeah, he like, damn, these are the guys, gotta be. They talking about I'm going to a bunkers and shit? Damn, they know. Yeah, we're reading it. Go ahead. This is Joel 5 and 12. Uh, it says, verse 15, their swords shall enter into their own heart. Oh, so so-called white man's swore is gonna enter into his own heart, man. Okay, what he's doing is going to destroy himself. What he's doing is going to destroy himself. Go ahead. And their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. Right, exactly. Because we got the power. Faith is spiritual power. We got the power. We can move mountains. I don't care what he think he can do with his technology. We can do it in a spiritual sense without anything carnally in our hands. Right. Come on, now that's next level. Jake gotta get on the next level, okay? Stop talking superhuman and start being superhuman because we are the Israelites, we're above these people, all right? That, that process is happening, okay? You gotta grow, when you wake up, you gotta grow in this truth to realize what you really can do. At the beginning, you're just excited. But there's a, there's a lot more to gain as we're, as we're in this grace period, there's a lot more to gain to actually show the world who we are in the spirit of Yahweh Bashanah Shah. Not of ourselves, but of Yahweh Bashanah Shah. They're giving us the power. They're gonna strengthen us to show the world of who they dealing with. That you ain't dealing with guys with dresses on, you, all this clowning shit they be talking about. We gonna see them talking shit in that day. Okay, that day is upon us. Go ahead, huh? Is one more right? No, no. This is Job chapter 5 and verse uh, 19. Uh -huh. It says, uh, He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall, be, there shall no evil touch thee. Now we're going to eat it on this one, but check this out. Read that again. It says, Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Right before. 
we understand that in Psalms uh, chapter 91. Scarcely being saved, watching the destruction from the chariots. Okay, but you gotta believe that. Okay? The only way, the only way this scripture is possible for you to be saved in that, in that seven and no evil touch you is through your house, y'all. That's the guy. That's the guy that's gonna, do you believe in me? Do you got faith in me? Otherwise, you ain't covered by his blood. That, that, that sacrifice he made, that great sacrifice that he made for us to be even be standing here right now. That's the only way you're going to make it. Shall he find faith on the earth? When he comes, shall I find faith on the earth? Or did you run back into the world because it got hard, because you're sick, or because it is, or because your woman left you, or because whatever, your job fired you, you was making a certain amount of money, now you're making half that. Right. Now them bills staring at you like, nigga, you going to pay me, nigga? You going to run? Like it says in Romans 8, don't let anything come between you and your how about your mouth shot. Tribulation, whatever. Because there's power in that. Don't get swayed by temporary discomfort. This all temporary, man. This all temporary, man. So with that, we're gonna end it on that. So with that, I'm gonna give our praises to Yahweh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Double honor to the L's great millstone. Shalom to all you out there that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.